when you only want to settle for the finer things in life, there is only one that will fulfill my needs. The Tokyo Marui Gold Series. When standard airsoft weapons just won't do. This is the Tokyo Marui Scorpion Mod M. So in true Tokyo Marui fashion, beautiful photograph of the airsoft weapon and on the inside, as I would come to expect, hidden away, well partially hidden, is your instruction manual and I bet you there's some targets there as well. <laughs> And I won't bother to remove those rails because I've got plenty rails on there already to start with. And there look, there's your unjamming rod that also doubles up as a cleaning rod. So let's see what else we get because you do get a lot in this package. So I've already shown you that you get a battery adapter. We'll get to the whole battery situation in a moment because it's something that really mm, bothers me. But anyway, you get a little bag of Tokyo Marui BBs, a muzzle cover for when you're not using that bad boy, an Allen key if you wish to put those extra rails on, and of course, again, your battery adapter, not a battery. Oh my gosh. Why didn't they include a battery in this package? What is this all about? As cool as it looks, it's just more expense. So let me just get straight to the point. If you buy that Scorpion Mod M, you also have to buy a battery and a battery charger separately. And it's not just any old battery, look at this. Don't worry, I'll go into more details later and there will be plenty information in the video description. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, aliens from other planets, would you, well, you never know, they could be watching. Would, imagine what they would make of me. <laughs> Anywho, would you look at this? Tokyo Marui never fails for me when it comes to the looks department. Now, this being Tokyo Marui, you're probably expecting this entire thing to be made out of plastic. Well, no, believe it or not. Yes, predominantly plastic, but you see this lower receiver part right here? All of this is metal. Your trigger guard, metal. Your trigger, metal. All the gold parts that you can see metal. However, everything else, believe it or not, including this folding stock right here, is polymer plastic. But that's not all. Your fire selector switch, your mag release, your pins are metal. Oh, but wait, your flash hider is also metal. So that's a good thing at least. And of course, you're going to get metal internals. But yeah, everything else is going to be polymer. To me, I'm not too fussed because it being Tokyo Marui, it's going to be a quality build. The plastic won't be flimsy. It's gonna be, oh, and that I am very surprised about. Normally when you get any airsoft weapon that has a foldable stock, you're gonna see a bit of play. You're gonna feel a bit of play. Trust me when I say it is absolutely rock solid in the open position. Again, Tokyo Marui quality. So let's go through the features starting at the rear. You've got your butt plate or the butt stock right here. That is serrated 
which is good so you get a nice grip when holding it against your body as mentioned before you've got your polymer stock which is solid and if you wanted to release this stock and fold it in you press this button on the top lift the stock up slightly and fold now let's see how well this locks in so let me just show you that's quite positive is it a rattler when it's folded in again no this thing is ha, solid so i'll just leave it folded for now as we continue through the features you've got this very nice looking almost ergonomical grip i say ergonomical it has got these grooves but i feel it could be just a bit more ergonomical <laughs> Then on the base of the grip you have your battery compartment but we'll get back to that when we're ready to put the battery in. Moving back up here you have a sling point which is also metal. So we move along to the fire selector switch where you have your semi-auto, safe and full auto. So let's test this, let's see if it's nice firm and slick. Okay a bit clunky. Not as smooth and slick as some others that I have used in the past, but it does the job. Clicks into place firmly. And the most important thing, it's not loose. And then you have this gorgeous looking golden trigger, your trigger guard, your magwell, your lower rail, and of course, your flash hider. So moving back towards the rear of this Scorpion Mod M on the top, you have your upper rear rail, a beautiful cutout right there so you can see more of that gorgeous golden color. And then of course you've got your upper main front rail. Oh and might I add, it's got a rather exquisite, almost hidden front and rear sight right in the rail system. So as you've seen before, you have this extended charging handle, but it also shows on the other side, a more shorter version. So whether you pull this side or that side, it will reveal your hop-up adjustment right there. And believe it or not, you can also access that hop-up adjustment from the magwell. Now the cool thing about this flash hider is that you can remove it and once it comes off, it will reveal a 14 millimeter counterclockwise outer threaded barrel. But that's not all. Apart from being able to put mock suppressors or tracer units on this, you can actually put it back on the other way. How cool is this? Nice. However, no, I prefer it the other way. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we're near that time where we're gonna put the battery in, which I've already pre-charged. First thing though, I wanna open this stock again. And to do this, another nice little feature. Look, that button right there will release your stock. Okay, let's complete that picture. <laughs> How beautiful is that? Although it kind of looks really long and ridiculous, I still think it's gorgeous. But guess what? If you have magazines for the VZ61, they will also fit in this Mod M. Awesome. Now, as I mentioned before, you have to buy a battery pack and a charger for this bad boy. So I decided to go for all original Tokyo Marui um, products. So let's first get the charger out. Now on the other end of this charger, you've got this contraption. Yes, the battery that you would need to buy for this Scorpion Mod M will need to plug into this. And here she is and look at the connections on the top but as you can see there's an indicator right there showing you which way round it needs to plug in now the good thing is this also has an indicator showing you which way around you slot the battery in 
Now once your battery is fully charged, this charger has a little indicator light that will go to green. It will be red whilst it's charging. And then we get to this adapter. Now, stick with me. Um, you can't just shove your battery up your Scorpion. It's got to go in this first. And if you look down there, you will see a groove where you would slot your battery in, again, following that little white indicator. Nice. Okay, so let's get the battery in. Now there are two ways to open up your battery compartment. As you can see, there are two holes. You can use your supplied Allen key, slot it in and turn, or you can just use your fingers. Now take a moment to look down into the battery compartment. There you can see a fuse. And if you look carefully at the very bottom, you can see that it's sort of shaped the same way as the top of this adapter. So on the top there, let me just bring it right in. On the top, you can see it's flat. On the bottom, it's rounded off, it's curved, just like this. And let me just show you right here, when you're ready to take the battery out again, you use this battery extractor. And then when you're ready to put the base back on, it's quite easy to see which way round it goes because of the pattern. Okay, we're almost ready for the shooting test. Now, before I put any BBs in the mag, can I say this? For safe practices, always have the mag out whenever you're putting in the battery or taking out the battery. Now, I knew there was nothing in the mag and there was nothing in the chamber, so it was fully safe. But best practice, always remove the mag first. Now, let me do a quick test. So let me take it off safe. Single shot. Nice. Let's try full auto. Nice. Okay, let's get the BBs in. Now, to fill the mag up, you just open up this little door right here. Now remember, this is Tokyo Marui, okay? So it's Japanese spec. So don't expect anything near 300. It's probably gonna be somewhere between 240 to 270. Having said that, because it's TM, it will be very accurate. So here we go. 249.9, so you can call that 250. 251.9, 249.2, 249.2 again, 249.6 that, oh my gosh, the consistency is amazing. 249.6 again, two more. 251.5 and 247.7. There you go, that's almost 11 rounds per second. Now I'm pretty confident the accuracy on this is going to be spot on. So there you go, Airsofters. This is the Scorpion Mod M from Tokyo Marui. 
So what are my initial thoughts? Well, when it comes to looks, you already know. That black and gold combination for me is always a winner. TM always, in my eyes, deliver when it comes to looks. I just wish they're dealt with a lot more metal <laughs> than plastic. I know, something to do with Japanese law. But anyway, when it comes to internals, you can't fault TM. When it comes to the packaging, in my eyes, you can't fault TM. However, if you're looking to use this as your primary to be your main weapon in gameplay, forget it. Yes, as much as I love this piece, it looks amazing, feels amazing to hold. It's really a sidearm. It's a secondary. It's a backup. So don't expect anything spectacular with this Mod M. Other than that, my gosh, what a pleasure it would be to have this as part of my gameplay arsenal. There's more info in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel.